Out of a library renovation project that's way overdue. In an effort to keep up with the times, the Brooklyn Public Library System undertook a multi-million dollar project more than a decade ago, but many East Flatbush residents say their branch was left behind. CBS News' Valerie Castro has more on the renovation project that's now in its, get this folks, 14th year. The windows and doors of the Brooklyn Public Library Rugby Branch remain boarded up and gated off as they have for two years now. This was like my library that I came to for school research and after school and to, you know, just hang out with friends. And now that I see it's like closed and my kids can't come here. Plans for a simple renovation project were set back in 2005 and were supposed to only take one year. But 14 years later, the work is still not done. It may take forever. That's because the plans were changed changed five times. The Department of Design and Construction says what started as an interior renovation turned into a new heating and air conditioning system, a roof replacement, facade work, and finally a trailer to accommodate library goers in the interim. Construction didn't actually begin until March of 2017. In the building, it was a lot of space for all of us, and they also had a part where they used to give us lunch. Now that in the trailer, we don't have that much space anymore. East Flatbush resident Omari Walcott says he goes to the library at least twice a week to do homework and surf the internet. So he and many others hope the project is finished soon. So it's very inconvenient and it's going to make children in the area like kind of lose interest in trying to learn. The library is expected to reopen in the summer of 2020, showcasing the renovation work that ballooned from $1 million to almost 10. We'll be checking back to see if it's done. In East Flatbush, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. Now, the Department of Design and Construction says each one of those changes led them back to the drawing board. Moving forward, they have a new plan in place to limit these types of delays by locking plans and budgets in at the start of each project.